Hi there. My name is Michelle Della Maria and I come from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. My exposure to art started with my grandmother, who was a painter and a poet. As I was growing up, my mother learned China painting and is the one who taught me a variety of hand stitching techniques. Over the years, I took drawing and portrait classes at a local studio, as well as enrolling in some art courses at our community college. I learned to knit while in college, while I was studying abroad in Denmark, and later took painting classes while our young family was living abroad in Paris, France. As far as sewing goes, I knew basically how to thread a machine and sew a straight line. I could make things like pillowcases and duvet covers, but that changed in 2018 when I impulsively bought a basic sewing machine from an end cap at Costco and decided to learn to quilt. It wasn't long before I found myself far down the quilting rabbit hole about when the COVID lockdown began. During that unique time, I was so fortunate for the opportunity to take online classes from so many of the modern quilting greats of our time. As my skills were improving, I realized I was drawn to making dynamic, abstract compositions with either patterning or a strong use of line. For my piece in Quilt National 2023 called Show Don't Tell, I had three parameters. One was to make a composition with the illusion of overlapping strips. I also wanted to incorporate a new technique of hand stitching the edges of the strips. Lastly, I decided to use the same color scheme that I had used in a previous quilt that you see behind me. After I pieced some of the strips and hand stitched the edges, I realized that when I cut the strips to be the right size for the composition, that the hand stitch edges would also be cut and then unravel. Once I figured that out, I reworked each edge to have a secure knotted start and finish for all the thread edges. The final challenge I had was how to quilt it. I didn't want to stitch over the hand sewn edges, so I realized I could not do matchstick quilting or an all over motif. So I made a lot of practice designs before settling on the final choices in the quilt. What I'm most proud of are the small details that make the overlapping design believable the little pieces that I inserted that even have the hand stitch edges. I hope you enjoy viewing the quilt and learning a bit more about the process I followed in creating it. I appreciate the opportunity to exhibit my work at Quilt National this year. Thank you to the Dairy Barn Art staff, committees and volunteers. Last but not least, thank you to the jurors who selected my work and have made my dreams come true.